Hello, everyone. Professor Edward Chang again. And today I am going to introduce uh, one of the perhaps important uh, leaders of early Korean immigrant community. And his name is Dosan An Chang Ho. And I wrote a lesson plan about his legacy and what he stood for and what he taught us. And lesson objective of this lesson plan is to better understand the Korean American experience and multi-ethnic America through the story and lives of Koreans who lived at Pachapa camp early 1900, the first Korea town in the USA and established by Dosan An Chang Ho. And write an essay report or video about Dosan An Chang Ho's efforts to raise Korean American voice and identity through his organizations and civic activity, labor management effects through the Korean Labor Bureau. In doing so, students will gain key skills in how to develop and structure the essay writing skills and learn how to use video representations, which is an essential skill to have in the online learning platform. And these are the key and essential questions. What is, what is it important to study the stories of ethnic minorities like Koreans in the United States? What do the struggles for voice and identity by Korean Americans reveal, reveal about Korean American racial history? Dosan An Chang Ho. Dosan is his pen name. It means island mountain. He was a pioneer, educator, patriot who fought for Korea's national independence and leader. And he taught us a very important four principles that we should all emulate in our lives. Seek the truth, act upon the truth, be loyal and trustworthy, and be courageous to uphold the truth. And honesty, integrity, he always emphasized honesty and integrity, integrity as an important asset and principles that we all should follow. In the state of California in August 13, 2018, passed a resolution declaring Dosan An Chang Ho Day. In 2017, in the city of Riverside, dedicated site of early Pachapa camp as a point of cultural interest that existed from 1905 to 1918. And Dosan An Chang Ho came to America in 1902 and stayed until he landed in San Francisco in 1902, came to Riverside in 1904, uh, stayed and worked, lived in Riverside until 1907. And he returned back to Korea between 1907 and 1911. And late 1911, we returned uh, land came back to New York via San Francisco and returned to Riverside in 1911 and very actively involved in Korean nationalist movement here in the United States until 1919 and returned back to Shanghai when a March 1st movement and establishment of provisional government of Shanghai in 1919. And he came back to the United States where his family was still residing in 1924. And he faced deportation by US Immigration and Nationalization Services in 1926. And this is early reporting uh, interview of uh, Dosan An Chang Ho and his wife, Helen Hedion. 
and uh, by San Francisco Chronicle uh, and published in December 7, 1902, Korea. And he, it chronicles uh, how Korea was still backward and why he came to the United States to be educated. And this map that was printed by Sanborn Insurance Company of New York in 1908 shows the downtown Riverside. In 1908, it says Korean settlement. And this particular map gave me inspiration to study, learn, explore, and uncover a buried past of Pachapa camp story. And it was unknown until I discovered in 19, no, 2015, 16. And this is a very famous photograph of Dosan An Chang Ho picking oranges here in Riverside. And again, this is another photograph of Helen An, his wife, and his eldest son, Philip An, and in 1907, and with orange. And Philip An is, of course, the first Asian American actor to receive star in the Work of Fame in Hollywood Boulevard, uh, north side of 6200 block of Hollywood Boulevard. Obviously, you may uh, assign your students to go to that particular site and write an essay or uh, create a video about Philip Bond and his legacy and uh, what he left us. And this is a very important historical photograph of Pachapa camp uh, of uh, Yong Yong Kim family. I, I take it back, it might be Pachapa or it might be a Vine Street photo, we, we are not sure, but it's early photograph of Riverside Korean immigrant community. Until 2015, the existence of a Pachapa camp was not known at all. And how can I claim it is the first organized Korean settlement in the United States? It's because unlike other places where majority of our settlers were bachelor Korean men, Pachapa camp in Riverside was family-based community. And Dosan's leadership and he established the Dosan's Republic and beginning of a democratic republicanism of modern Korea. And Korean Labor Bureau was established to recruit Korean workers and many independence organizations such as the Gongyip Hyepe, Shin Korean National Association were uh, established by the many settlers in Riverside. And community activists such as wedding, birthday party, Korean mission, and other organization activities were thriving in the Pachapa camp. And Hemet Valley incident of 1913 uh, pre provided semi quasi official status of Koreans in, in the United States as not Japanese subjects, but Korean nationals. And Korean National Association of 1909 was critical because it represented all Koreans in the United States and KNA, Korean National Association, was a organization established on the democratic principle. And he also established Young Korean Academy in 1913 and later on served as a secretary of Korean provisional government of Shanghai. And he was deported by the INS in 1926 and he faced death in 1938 after long imprisonment. So I'm hoping the through life story of Tosan An Chang Ho, young Korean Americans and other students will learn and appreciate the values uh, he taught us, four major principles, and seeking the truth, honesty, integrity, and sacrificing his life for national independence of Korea. Hopefully it will be an inspirational story uh, for all students. Thank you so much.